without putting on a uniform Smart when nuts and rode a unicorn through the storm Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Draft Champions video. And guys, today what I have for you is some information regarding Draft Champions. First thing that you're seeing here guys is the draft, of course. But what I really want to actually get into is some new stuff that they added to Draft Champions. So right here I'm just picking my coach, of course. I choose New Orleans, one of my favorite playbooks in the game. But the big thing here guys is I want you to look across the bottom of your screen right now. Remember how Draft Champions is always silvers? Not anymore. We're actually getting gold players now instead of silvers. So this is actually a pretty significant thing because you can see here, guys, the base quarterback that we're getting is no longer complete trash. Still not very good, but it's a little bit better. We're actually getting a couple quarterbacks that we can actually use here. Andy Dalton being the one that, you know, is the base. So I really think that this is a big upgrade for draft champions, not just because of the quarterback position, obviously, because, you know, there were a couple quarterbacks that were actually viable originally that were silvers, but the reality, I think, is that you're going to see a lot better games now in draft champions because they increased the base players to being gold, because what used to happen is that you would have your super ridiculously overpowered cards, like, you know, you like your Herman Moore legend wide receiver and stuff like that, and they would get mad matched up sometimes against base gold cornerbacks that were not good, uh, and that was like your best cornerback that you could get, uh, and, and also you would get matched up against really regularly silver cornerbacks, especially if you moved your wide receiver into the slot, or if you moved him out of the opposite side of the field, and, and you knew that your opponent only had one good cornerback, you could really take advantage of it by, you know, setting your wide receiver as the wide receiver two on your team, or the wide receiver three, and you would just you throw it right to them, you know, hike the ball, throw up an aggressive catch, and those silver cornerbacks just had such a problem stopping it. So I think that's going to be a major upgrade because now we've got at least base gold cornerbacks. So there aren't just complete trash players that you're that you're having on defense. And then offensively as well, your offensive line is also going to be base golds as well. So that's actually pretty nice as well because there are some times where, you know, your opponent gets like a, a legend defensive tackle or something like that. And you would have a silver center or a silver right guard or whatever. And it would just be abuse city with those, you know, the you user D-line especially, if somebody was using their defensive lineman and, and it was a legend or, you know, a really good, a flashback or a really good elite or something like that, it was just so ridiculously difficult to go up against that just because they would just pretty much have to spam the square button or the X button. They would just get right on past you. So it, it was really, really difficult. And now I think, like I said, you're going to see a lot better balance. You're not going to have such huge discrepancies between the players. Yeah, there are still, you know, 76 overall players or 78 overall players or, you know, whatever it is. But I think that's a big upgrade from the low 70s overall. Uh, it really, really is because you are going to see that there's not such a huge difference between the base elites and, you know, at, at least the base golds. You know, uh, in this case, obviously, you're looking at like a, a base elite Travis Frederick at an 88 and a, a Jason Witten at an 87. And the linebacker that would cover Jason Witten at least isn't going to be complete trash. So you don't get that huge advantage. But there is still, you know, of course, advantages. And I and I think in this case, we're actually seeing now a lot more better cards. Like in, in this draft, you're going to see I get a couple of different flashback rounds. Uh, I get a legend round, obviously, at the end. Uh, but there are a lot more base elites as well that I get access to. So it, it's nice because we're actually playing with a little bit better cards now it's not so much trash we're obviously seeing a lot of the campus heroes because those are new to the game today but um you know, like I said, guys, I think really the big thing here is that we're seeing a big difference in the uh, the, the talent discrepancy. Uh, we're seeing that actually go away. Um, so I, I definitely like to see that. I want to hear what you guys have to say, though. Do you guys think that this is going to be a big difference? Because I really do. I, th I think that there are going to be huge differences now in the way that draft champions are, are played. You're not going to see quite, I mean, you're still going to see it because it's Madden 16, but I don't think you're going to see quite as many people just stepping back and chucking up aggressive catches every 
every single play because the opposing defense is a little bit now more better equipped to defend that at least. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, click that like button and let me know in the comment section below, guys. Do you like this new draft champion setup or do you want it to go back to the original way? I'm a big fan of this. I think they did the right thing. I'm, I'm definitely a supporter of the way that they did this. And you guys are going to see now as well that I actually draft, I think, an 84 overall team. I've seen somebody draft an 85. I don't think I've seen higher than that, although I'm sure there are plenty of people that have drafted 86, maybe even some 87 overall teams. So uh, it's definitely something cool. We're seeing a lot better teams now. It used to be 79, 80, 81, maybe an 82 overall team would sneak in there from time to time. But we got an 84 in our first try just messing around. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again. Uh, do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.